in the performance, the figure of Saxo is present. I think with two uh, roles. One is the storyteller, so the person that actually brings to life the uh, characters. And as an historian, so the historian that uh, tries to find through the signs that past leaves, in this case represented by the bones, the bones, what is left of the past, and trying to read through these bones what actually happened in history to be able to tell it. So I needed to find a physical base which was very different. Originally I was working with a, uh, with a stick which was to represent a kind of pen because it was the historian writing, but it was also a brush to uncover the bones. And so then I tried doing the same that I had with this kind of pen with the bone. Uh, but then the instructions from Eugenia would always be, look at the bones, try and see, study the bones, what are the bones telling you? And I'm always trying to run away from this instruction and do something else. which I have here, which is a kind of character that has no direct relationship with the others, but is sort of around all the time. So I needed to find a physical base which was very different. And that I got from these, uh, this, for instance, this, which is the elephant in the Odyssey dance, and this which is the duck, or the, the, the goose, in fact, it's the goose. <laughs> Through these positions, then I found a kind of uh, majestic heaviness. Then history, uh, Saxo uh, history, like you can pull history, you can not want to see history, uh, you want to break the chains of history, uh, you can carry history, um, you can also refuse it, you can be blinded by history. Uh, one of the other images was that Saxo was blind. But then, although I worked quite a lot on this, Eugenia kept on saying, look at the bones, look at the bones, look at the bones. So I couldn't be that blind. But a lot of my looking up, or like I do something here, but I'm looking in another direction. There is one thing which is very different for me in this work from the other Teatro Mundi, and that is that in the other Teatro Mundi I would be working directly with the other actors. And one of the richnesses for me was the dialogue I had with Sanjukta Panigrai, the dialogue I had with the Madaji Mat, which were directly uh, building scenes with them. This time, because of the character I have, I, don't, I have not had that possibility and I lack it a lot. It's like, uh, because for me the, the enormous richness of this kind of work is the fact that you can communicate on stage 
without being able to communicate in sort of daily life, you know, not speaking the same uh, country language, but speaking a language which belongs to the stage. And I, I imagine that that will come when the performance is finished, and so it becomes a question of rhythms altogether, uh, which I'm still lacking. It's, it's, I still don't understand the rhythm of the performance, because of course it's not finished. And so I lack that dialogue with the other actors, um, which for me is one of the incredible richnesses of this work. <laughs>